of investigation into a controversial loophole in Ohio's rape law. Now, it's hard to believe, but in our state, a man who drugs and rapes his wife won't face prosecution. Lawmakers have known about it for years, yet somehow it's been an uphill battle to change it. And News 5's Megan Hickey has been digging into the controversy today and joins us live with what she's learned. Megan. Ohio's rape law was amended more than 30 years ago to include spousal rape, but drugging was left out, and it's been a long road to try to fix that. It was the story of the Indiana man who repeatedly filmed himself drugging and raping his wife that got law professor Patricia Falk thinking. If that happened in Ohio, there is no crime. No crime because in Ohio, spousal rape only covers the threat or use of force, not drugging your husband or wife to have sex with them. We still have this vestige from a bygone era in our rape law, and it really has no place in 2017 um, Ohio. Falk has been researching the loophole for years and has found evidence of married drugging victims right here in Ohio. So why hasn't the law been changed? Spousal rape is a crime, no matter what. Victim advocates like Linda Johannick are exasperated. This law is ridiculous. This goes against every single right that every man or woman should have in a relationship and in a marriage. Local Rep Greta Johnson introduced the bill in 2015, but the Democratic lawmaker couldn't get a single co-sponsor across the aisle. She introduced the bill again on Friday and is still having trouble finding support. Falk hopes that increased awareness will help. Maybe this is the time that it's really gonna happen. Meanwhile, victim advocates say they haven't heard a good excuse not to make the change. I have not heard one good reason, yet there are only 17 sponsors. Something is very wrong with that, and that needs to change. And I reached out to the House Speaker's office to find out why he's not sponsoring the bill, but have not yet received a response. Live in Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News 5.